Alright, I thought it's about time that I fill you in on my Bell's palsy and uh, everything else that's going on with me right now. And the reason you see me wearing an eye patch is because uh, my good eye, the one that was not affected by the Bell's palsy, which was my left eye, uh, is giving me problems right now. And I've got an appointment to see an ophthalmologist here in Ennis. He only comes on the first and third Fridays of the month. And the soonest he can get me in is on uh, the 6th of July. And uh, so I'm going to go in and get looked at. If if I wanted a full-blown exam, I, I couldn't do it until August. And I just soon wait. I just soon find out what's going on with my eyes now. And then if I need a full-blown, I'll get a full-blown later. But uh, <coughs> I'm going to have to put this aside. Only because I can't see the small detail right now. It's it's very hard and very taxing on my eye. And uh, I have to use these magnifiers to really see the detail. And uh, it's just a pain in the wazoo, let me tell you. Um, I'm going to put it aside. I've got a, a, a gentleman who's a friend of mine, an artist friend, uh, an incredible painter. Uh, and uh, he... His father passed away a couple months ago, and it's hit all of us really hard because he was a good friend of mine, and and uh, I've known uh, Terry for a long time. Anyway, uh, so this artist friend asked me to do a portrait of his dad in bronze, and I said I would, and uh, I'm going to start the armature for it. It's a bigger piece. Uh, it won't tax my eye. Uh, very much. I'm going to probably have to wear uh, my patch for a while because the right eye, which was the good eye, not affected by Bell's palsy, um, has gone uh, weird. And so uh, it affects my sight if I don't have the patch on. I'm due to appear in the gallery here in Ennis, Montana. At the Blackjack Ranch Gallery uh, on Main Street here in Ennis on the 4th of July. And uh, I'll be working on two clays. One is called The Unconquered, and the other one is uh, a mountain man and his Indian wife and baby. And uh, both those pieces, uh, the mountain man and the Indian woman and baby, I did in. Uh, instructional videos on creating each one separate. Uh, they were going to be separate until after I was done with both clays and I got to thinking maybe if I could join the two it would work really well and it did. And so anyway I'll be appearing there uh, at the gallery. Hopefully I'll be able to see what I'm sculpting um, during the 4th of July parade. So uh, if you're in Ennis, Montana or you're nearby, come on down and, uh, you know, catch the parade. It's a great parade. And, uh, and come to the gallery and say hi. I've, uh, in the past, used two cameras to uh, video uh, me uh, working on my clays, uh, giving two, two different views uh, of uh, me working so that if my hands are in the way in one video, the other video may not have my hands in the way, and you'll be able to see what I'm working on. Uh, that extra camera that I had, which was a, a Canon SX30IS, uh, I had one that just went bad on me. And it went bad on me over a year ago, and I've been using one camera since. And I just feel like I'm not doing a service to you by having just one camera, because my can my hands, uh, my big hammy hands, get in the way uh, sometimes of what exactly I'm doing, and so I just uh, went online. I I tried to find a camera that would not be you know astronomical in price, and if you go on uh, YouTube and do a search for uh, best cameras for YouTube videos. Uh, you come up with a bunch of different videos, and, and I think the first one at the top of the list was a guy that went through a whole bunch of different cameras from, 
you know, 500 bucks on up to $2,500, but it, it, the, the camera I've been using, the Canon SX30IS, has been a great camera. I mean, I can shoot in 20, uh, 10, not 10, 1090, well, I can shoot in high <laughs> megapixels. I'm sorry, I'm just, my brain's fried right now. Uh, 10, 1080p, 1080p. The camera shoots in eight, in 1080p, and uh, that's as high I think you, you ever need. I I just watched his video, the guy that was talking about cameras, at 1400 or whatever it was, and it wasn't any better than a 1080p. I quite honestly. But anyway, I'm getting distracted with uh, I'm going off the course here. Um, I bought an extra one of the uh, Canon uh, SX uh, 30 ISs. Um, they've been very high priced, up in the four or five hundred dollar range. And I found uh, a used one in good condition uh, on Amazon for a hundred and sixty with shipping. And you can too if you do a little searching and uh, investigating. It's a good camera. It's an excellent camera. It's not a little tiny camera. It's not one you can wear on your head and, or on your chest, but uh, it's it's a good camera for what this what you do here on YouTube. All right, uh, so I'll be using two cameras in the future, but I won't be getting that extra camera until about the same time I'm supposed to be going in for my eye exam. Um, so till next time. Uh, I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me or or thinking that this is a pity parade here. Uh, I'm just filling you in on what's going on and uh, why I have been not loading as many videos as I have in the past. It's just, you know, my eyes have been bothering me. I can see fine. I, I can read type on the internet right now. I couldn't read it with my patch off. And so it's it's I've had to wear the patch so I can see it a little more clearly and uh, I guess it makes me look mysterious right <laughs> all right till next time guys have a great night give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time